Hello, you're watching New Vision TV News with me, Ruth Inasuja. This is the latest. This hour, Gulu leaders are worried about the increase in crime by street children and youth criminal gangs, commonly known as Angu. It is estimated that on a daily basis, a person is either robbed, killed, and women are raped on streets of Gulu municipality. According to the Gulu LC5 chairperson, Ojara Martin Mapenduzi, these criminals are using knives, sticks, metals, and iron bars. He fears that in 15 years, these criminals will graduate into organized criminal or armed robbers. Otherwise, he wants cameras to be installed in the town. Let's take a look at this story. Gulu district leaders are concerned by the increase in security caused by street children and street gangs who use knives, sticks, metals and iron bars to terrorize the Gulu municipality residents. Today, some of these uh, uh, people terrorizing the community are using knives and using sticks and using metals. Next time, they will graduate into armed robbers. The C5 chairperson, Ojara Martin Mapendusi, who met the leaders at Gulu District Council Hall, foresees a nationwide security problem if the situation is not contained. If we don't manage the situation now, if the security agencies and the, actually the police and the justice and, 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 and you know, justice law and other sector, if we don't wake up, it's going to be unbearable. And it's not only just Gulu, the entire country. The fingers have been pointed at LC1s for failing to contain the situation, but according to the LC1s, the situation is beyond their control. <laughs> LC1, LC2, LC3, LC4, LC5, 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 but car don't want to worry about Laura. Laura, what team go? Don't want Lego burn. The car you want to take, can't get long to take on it. Like an chair board RDC, but another can wear board one come a bit. Chair board MP you do you? To take on it, no one can make it work. Get make it new again. However, the Laro District LC5 councillor, Obo Justin Simpleman, alleges that some leaders are involved in maintaining these street gangs. To, to my surprise, some issues are propping up that some leaders are also involved. Actually, they're the ones heading some few individuals who call themselves leaders. And if this is true, then it is not good. He calls for a thorough investigation into the allegations of leaders being involved in the prevailing insecurity. But I hope that uh, the rumors that is propping up is immediately investigated and people are assured of their security. As the municipality awaits to be declared a city in July 2020, the planning authorities are concerned as the president for Urban Development Forum, George Alijik Lapierre, is concerned that the direction Gula is heading is not good. We are really concerned. Where the direction where Gulu is going is very, very bad. People are losing things. Things are being robbed day and night. So our security is really bad. He named areas of Kanyoga, Forestwood, and Layib industrial areas as danger zones. He calls upon the RIDC and security forces to get hold of the situation if the city status is to be realized. We have very few security guys around. Camera will help to monitor these areas, these concerned places, these corners where very bad things are being conducted. Ladies are being raped at night, bugs are being snatched at night like areas like bus park, areas like happening places. So all those places need camera to help the security monitor the, the situation on the ground. This report was compiled by Joseph Omagol for New Vision TV.
Away from Gulu, we look at a story from Kampala, Uganda's capital city. Conservation enthusiasts on Thursday celebrated the premiere of a historical wildlife film, Sides of a Horn, which highlights the conflict between poachers and game rangers in communities. The film launch at the Speak Resort Hotel in Kampala is part of a two-week-long campaign to engage communities in Uganda on the best ways of conserving wildlife. Ban Senyange, a media conservationist, teamed up with film producers Toby Woskov and Calvin Wolf to bring the film to the East African country. New Vision TV also preaches the need to conserve Uganda through its Pearl of Africa segment. I attended, and these are the highlights. <music> Moving away from Uganda, we look at other stories on the continent and outside the continent. Now, Prince Charles warned Friday that time is running out to address the impact of climate change as he prepares to visit one of the Pacific Island nations most affected by global warming. As he wrapped up a six-day trip in New Zealand ahead of three days in the, so in the Solomon Islands, Charles said the need for climate action was urgent. He said climate change was a scientific fact, rejecting suggestions from sceptics that scaremongering was dominating the debate. Closing off news this hour is a story from China where President Xi Jinping said Friday that China wants to reach an initial trade deal with the United States but is not afraid to fight back when necessary. It is rare for Xi to speak so directly about the trade war and, is, and his comments come two days after U.S. President Donald Trump complained that Beijing has not made sufficient concessions so far, making him reluctant to conclude a bargain. The world's two biggest economies have been locked in a bruising trade conflict for more than a year hitting each other with, vol with volleys of, of tariffs on hundreds of billions of dollars worth of goods. And that is it we had for you this hour. Thank you for watching. Be sure to catch my news updates and other programs here on New Vision TV by visiting our website, which is newvision.co.eug forward slash video. You can also follow us on social media. Facebook is The New Vision, Twitter is at New Vision Wire, Instagram is at New Vision Wire, and our YouTube channel is New Vision TV. Catch up with me on my Twitter handle, I am Ruth The Voice. Thank you for watching.